In the heart of Seattle, 1991, a child was born. But this was no ordinary child, this was Sonam Wangdu, the fourth reincarnation of the Tibetan Lama Dejung Rinpoche I. In the mystical world of Tibetan Buddhism, reincarnation reveals itself through a sequence of signs. Sonam's journey started even before he took his first breath. His mother, under the guidance of her own Lama, started having visions. These visions, although cryptic, carried a profound message. The return of Dejung Rinpoche. The words of Dejung Rinpoche III, spoken just before his death in 1987, added another piece to the puzzle. He informed his followers, I will be reborn in Seattle. It is nice and clean and fresh. With these signs aligning, it was clear that something extraordinary was unfolding. At the tender age of two, Sonam Wangdu realized his true identity due to his mother's dreams. He was verified as the rebirth by tests where, without instruction, he picked out his previous life's mala and bell from a group of similar objects and other tests. From that moment on, he answered only to the name Tulkula, meaning reincarnation. In 1996, Tulkula bid farewell to his family, stepping onto a path destined for him, a journey to study Tibetan Buddhism for 20 years in the ancient city of Kathmandu, Nepal. This would be his fourth life journey as Dejung Rinpoche. A boy of only five years, he was swept into a life of contemplation and devotion, a life that was both a departure from his past and a return to his old self. His new home would not be a house filled with toys, but a monastery filled with monks. He arrived in Nepal, swathed in gold and maroon robes, the colors of his faith. A luggage cart, pushed by his mother, served as his chariot. This image, a small boy riding on a luggage cart, was not just a picture of physical journey, but a symbol of his spiritual voyage. His smile, wide and welcoming, mirrored the openness of his heart, ready to embrace the teachings that lay ahead. When asked about his stay in Nepal, the little boy with a serene smile said, lots of time, I'm just going to stay here a long time. And indeed he did. The boy now stands in his 30s as the fourth reincarnation of Dejung Rinpoche I, still active and studying at Thala Monastery. Sonam Wangdu, once just a boy from Seattle, has become a beacon of spiritual guidance, a lama. His life in the monastery is one deeply rooted in the teachings and practices of Tibetan Buddhism. Each day begins before dawn, immersed in meditation, cultivating mindfulness and embracing the path of compassion and wisdom. He studies the ancient scriptures, delves into philosophical debates and partakes of many practices. The journey has not been without challenges. Living a monastic life means embracing simplicity, foregoing worldly pleasures and dedicating oneself wholly to spiritual growth. But Sonam has embraced these challenges with grace and fortitude, his faith unwavering, his commitment unshakable. Sonam's journey is more than just his own. It's a journey that bears the weight of centuries, the legacy of Dejong Rinpoche I and the three reincarnations before him. His life is a living testament to the Buddhist belief in rebirth, a testament that carries with it a profound message of hope and continuity. Sonam's life is a vivid tapestry woven with threads of faith, wisdom and compassion. It's a life lived in service of others, a life dedicated to the pursuit of spiritual growth and enlightenment. In Buddhism, the truth of rebirth is widely accepted, and in the case of Sonam Wangdu, it is a truth lived and embodied, a testament to the enduring cycle of life, death and rebirth. True Rebirth would love to hear your comments and opinions on this provocative probability below. Remember, every life is an adventure, a story to be told and retold. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.